have a severe emergency. In the early hours of Friday morning, a mom calling 911 to report that her autistic son is missing from their apartment. What's going on here? Um, my son is on the autistic spectrum along with me. He left? Yes. Okay, how old is he? Uh, 14. How long ago? You know? Unfortunately, this call for help has a devastating outcome when police receive another 911 call a short time later, just before 5 a.m. Somebody reported a person walking along the ramp from Grosbeck from 696, and then right afterwards we got a report of somebody being hit by a car. Michigan State Police say the 14-year-old teen was killed by that vehicle. We're hoping that uh, this individual realized that they struck somebody and then turned themselves in because uh, we don't know exactly what occurred out there. Michigan State Police are leading the investigation. The troopers are in that area using, uh, looking for different technology that we have over there. Police are also waiting to learn more from the medical examiner's report. Michigan State Police say right now they need for anyone who saw something or knows something about this fatal incident to speak up. I mean, the person until they left may not have been at fault. Uh, you can't walk on the freeway or on a freeway ramp, uh, so you can't really determine exactly who's at fault in the crash. But once you leave the scene and don't report it, um, then you become a problem with that crash. Back at the apartment complex where the victim's family lives, neighbors offer support as they deal with this tragedy. I'm just praying for her and the family. Um, just wishing her peace. And Warren Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.